Good morning. Oh, with muscle. And happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning. He's out there every morning with a smile with his cup of coffee. When a kid is walking up, he's shaking their hand or high-fiving them, asking them how they were doing. He always genuinely listens and really cares and considers what you have to say. He seems to be able to not just connect with the parents, with the teachers, but also with the students. And that, that means a lot. Ryan exemplifies what it means to be a great manager. Anyone that works with Ryan can see that he's collaborative, open to new ideas, warm and personable. He is a true team player. I think one of the great things about education, about schools, is it's one of the few opportunities you have to, to change a child's trajectory in life. Uh, and that's why I'm thrilled to be working in an elementary school. I think that the teachers, all of the staff here, um, change the path that children are on and to be part of that's really amazing. I think he also really, really puts the kids first. Like they are so important to him, their well-being. He is a parent so he treats these kids here like um, like he would treat his own. Mr. Dowling is the best principal because he helps us be good. He gives us high five. One time he wore his pajamas to school. He has pretty good speeches on, on the um, on the speaker up there when there are announcements there. Yeah, Mr. Godwin tells jokes sometimes. He's a little bit funny. He wears fancy shirts. He wears fancy pants. He's the best principal in the world. There is an enthusiasm throughout this building and um, he's right at the top of of instilling that in others and, and helping us develop that. Not only does he put kids first, but he really cares about his staff as well. He really understands that we have a life outside of school too and our well-being is really just as important as our work ethic and everything we do in school. I think I received my first management lesson from my father who gave me the advice to always hire people that are smarter than you. And I think he also said that shouldn't be a problem for you, Ryan, and he was right. Um, but the harder part is then you have to listen to them. I think one of the things that makes Ryan so successful is his positive attitude, the belief that if there's a problem, we can solve it. When there is a problem, if it's something that he can take action on right away, he absolutely does. And it um, prevents things from becoming bigger problems. He's very supportive of the PTO and uh, always available communication is always open and able to get to us. He will talk to staff, he will talk to parents, he'll find out what's going on and he has lots of ideas of his own and they'll, he'll put in place procedures that make things run more smoothly. It's really great coming to work every day and uh, Ryan is a huge part of that. I think one of the things we do great here as a school is we generate ideas. We're honest with each other about what needs work uh, we celebrate what goes very well and then we listen to each other and we say where can we maximize the great potential that we have within this building and then we work to do it. We're lucky to have Ryan as part of the correct family. This honor is well deserved. <laughs>